We're going to do a quick little run through reminder of things around decimals, percentages and fractions. Now we've done all of these in more detail in previous years. So there are, if you need to, there are some videos and some exercises you can do in the key concepts that review these. This is just a very, very brief overview. So let's start with decimals. What do I mean if I say something like, oh, let me get a pen, uh, something like 0, 0,4? Remember with decimals, it all depended on your place value. So this 4 wow. is in the tenths column. So 0, 0,4 just is exactly the same as 4 tenths. And a reminder of fractions. We can simplify any fraction as long as what we do, divide or times to the top, we do exactly the same, divide or times to the bottom. So I can divide the top of this fraction by 2, and I will get 2, and I must do the same to the bottom, divide by 2, and I'll get 5. So 0, 4 is the same as 4 tenths, which is the same as 2 fifths. What if I had 0, 4 5? Well, remember, this place value is the hundredths. It's the tiny little hundredths. And so what you've got when you're talking about 0, 0,45 is you've got 45 over 100. That's like you've taken the whole unit, you've divided it up into 100 pieces, and you're going to take 45 of those pieces. All right, again, we can simplify any fraction. So 45 over 100, as long as what we divide the top by, we divide the bottom by the same thing, we will be simplifying. So divide the top by 5, we get 9. Divide the bottom by 5, we get 20. And so we can see that the decimal 0, 0,45 is exactly the same as 9 twentieths, which is exactly the same as 45 over 100. Then our last thing we just want a quick reminder of is percent. So, 25%. What does percent mean? Percent means per hundred, right? So, what you've got, whenever you've got a percent, it is simply 25 per hundred. So, it's 25 over 100. And we can write that then as a decimal. So, if it's 25 over 100, what we've got is... We're in the hundred space, so it's 0, 0,25 as a decimal. And again, if we wanted to, 25 over 100 is a fraction, and it's a perfectly decent fraction, but we can simplify it, because we can divide the top of the fraction by 25 and we get 1, and the bottom of the fraction by 25 and we get a quarter. So 25% is the same as 25 over 100, it's the same as 0, 0,25, and it's the same as a quarter. Imagine we want to put all of these 0, 0,25, 5 eighths, and 90% all onto this um, number line. Let's start by considering 5 eighths and think about where that might go on the number line. Now, we know that half, that's exactly in the middle. Now, you should be able to see very quickly that a half if we were just to write it as an equivalent thing in terms of eighths, would be four eighths, right? Because equivalent fractions, as long as we multiply the top and the bottom by the same thing, we'll get an equivalent fraction. So I've multiplied the top by four and the bottom by, by four, and I get a half is exactly the same as four eighths. So where does five eighths sit? Well, it'll be somewhere just a bit above that half, because four eighths I mean, 5 eighths is just a bit more than 4 eighths, so it's just a little bit more than a half. All right, now we've got to deal with our other ones. Let's think about where are we going to put this 0, 0,25. Well, let's just get, what is a half written as a decimal? Well, a half as a decimal is just 0, 0,5. How could I get that? Well, it's quite easy to say, remember with decimals, it's always in terms of tens, hundreds, thousands, etc. So this will be 2 times 5 gives me 10, 1 times 5 gives me 5. So a half is the same as 5 tenths, which is 0, 0,5 as a decimal. <coughs> so this is 0, 0,5. 
So where will 0, 0,25 be? Well, it's going to be halfway to that, somewhere over here. And then what about my last one? What about good old 90%? Well, 90% is 90 over 100, right? 90 over 100, that can be 0, 0,90 or 0, 0,9 as a decimal. That's basically getting quite close to 1 up here. So 0, 0,9 would sit somewhere over there. All right, to finish us off, I just want you to complete this table. It's in your homework book, so quickly work out the equivalent percentage, decimal and fractions for each of those numbers given there. Pause the video now, do it, and then we'll go over it. Okay, going over it, let's start with our 30%. What will that be written as a decimal? Well, 30% we know is 30 over 100. And that will be 0, 0,30, right? And we don't need the extra zero there. So we can just call it 0, 0,3 as a decimal. And then as a common fraction, well, we've got halfway there. We already know it's 30 over 100. But let's try and write that in its simplest form. So we can divide top and bottom of this fraction by 10, and we will get the answer 3 tenths. All right, what about 0, 0,2, the decimal? How do we get that into common fraction form and percentage form? Well, 0, 0,2, what does that mean? We know that that just means it's 2 tenths. So as a fraction, we could write it as 2 tenths. But remember, we like to try and write fractions in their simplest form. So here we can see we can divide top and bottom of this fraction by 2. So 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 10 goes 5 times, so 1 fifth would be your answer here. What about the percentage? Well, for a percentage, we always need to be over 100. So we want to take 2 tenths and turn it into something over 100. Well, we had to multiply there by 10, so we must do the same to the top. We'll get 20 over 100, so this is just 20%. How do we get a quarter into fraction from fraction form into decimal form? Well, we can just see, can we make it into something over 10, 100, or 1,000? We can't easily go to 10, right? Because 4 times what gives me 10? Not easy. But what about to 100? Very easy, because 4 times 25 gives me 100. So here we'll have 1 times 25. So we're going to have... 25 over 100. Now we've got it over 100. Very easy. What's the percentage? 25%. What's the decimal? It's 0, 0,25.